before we get started, Sonia had to go home sick about 10 o'clock this morning, and so her and I visited virtually. We had everybody that's going to be here, and so we decided to go ahead and have the meeting versus try to reschedule and find a date in July. So anyway, you'll have to bear with me. I, I've got some notes that she's, she's given me, so we'll work through it and take care of the business we got. But it may be a shorter meeting than usual, but uh, that's, that's where she's at. So I've asked uh, Alan to kind of sub in on the on the minutes and the, the roll taking. So I guess we'll mark it down and start at about 12.07. 12.07. Uh, you may call roll. Yes, sir. Steve Loman. Here. Randy McMurphy. Absent. Kyle Murrow. Here. Sandy Olson. Here. Alan Poe. Darren Slater. Yep. And Doyle Wardrop. Here. Okay. She did make me a note that said this is the first one I've ever missed. So anyway. <laughs> I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> yes, so, uh, item two, I think your minutes. If you don't have a, a agenda and packet, we've got one here. Uh, but the first thing is the approval of the April 21st uh, special meeting minutes. Move to approve. All second. Steve? Yes. Kyle? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Alan? Yes. Darren? Yes. Doyle? Yes. yes. Item five is approval of contract with Northwest Technology Center. And what that is, the Technology Center serves as kind of the, the uh, financial piece for the Wood County, for, for Sonia. We basically handle her payroll, we handle her retirement, we handle her uh, five, all, all of her expenses. And so Woods County Economic really does a memorandum of understanding between us and the Technology Center to handle her benefits, her payroll. And so the which, uh, the committee pays Northwest Technology Center, and then we handle her, her payroll, her benefits, her withholdings, and all that kind of stuff. And so we do that on an annual basis. And so basically, with inside that agreement, Northwest Technology Center agrees to provide office space and utilities for the director and secretary, uh, use of equipment for the director and secretary, use of office furniture, internet, uh, payroll services for the director, including the process of salary, matching FICA, health, dental, life, insurance, teacher retirements, and related fees, work compensation, and unemployment compensation. Um, and then uh, the Woods County pays us their portion of the salary, and then we, we pay our portion of it and provide that in her benefits package. So that's what we're asking 
you guys to for us to approve is that contract with the technology center to, to do that. I make a motion and we approve it. Second. And we do that every year. It's on an annual annual bill basis. Steve? Yes. Kyle? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Alan? Yes. Darren? Yes. Doyle? Yes. Item six, um, update, discussion, possible action regarding status of curtain goals and objectives and staff activities. And so I've got kind of a report that Sonia had given me, uh, kind of some activities for this last uh, last area. And she's she's been listed here that she's met with uh, four different companies over since our last meeting, one startup and three expansions into her area. One of those was an aviation-related company. One was an ag-related, uh, one was a railroad-related business, and then one was an energy sector-related. Um, other things she's been working on, uh, I've been working with uh, Charlotte Hadwiger to help find jobs for displaced workers, as, as you guys probably have seen and noticed. There's been, we've had some layoffs in our area, and so um, we've had, Charlotte is our biz director here at the Technology Center, and so trying to work with those people who who are laid off to find them and match them up with employers who are currently seeking people who have that have openings. And so um, her and Charlotte's kind of had a communication and trying to direct people to them to match them up with, with some employers in the area seeking, seeking people with, with a skill set that matches up with their needs. Um, working with BJCC to uh, implement a re-entry housing program. Uh, working uh, as a member of a steering committee to uh, renovate and possibly expand the fairgrounds, um, working with uh, Martin Marietta and the BNSF to uh, get more trains uh, delivered. I think they've had some issues out there they're trying to get, there's a lot of demand on the railroad and they're trying to get more deliveries into the rail park and, and the number of trains and frequencies of those to deliver into the rail park. Um, Avard Rail Park siding uh, needs some maintenance work, so she's working with uh, Track Works and the BNSF and Martin Marietta to uh, get that completed. So that's kind of the. Is that our cost or the railroads? Or the I, I don't know. Who, I think that that would be tied into the rail park and along with BNSF. I think it's probably those two entities. Um, the rail park, as I understand it, would own. The siding, and so it would be be a cost associated with that. So, um. Alan, is, are there a lot less trucks going out to clean harbors than there was? No, they're fixing to the start up. Fixing the crank back up. I just I spent some time there the last couple. Of weeks. I'm trying to think what day they told me their first train was coming in. Oh, okay. I took a youth leadership group out there and did a tour uh, the last week of May at Clean Harbors and. It was, I mean, a good experience for those students and whatnot, and talked to them a little bit, and they told me that that uh, Hudson project would fire back up, I believe, at the end of June is what they told me. I don't remember for sure. Well, I, I, perhaps this is a good time to mention this. I had this uh, report from uh, um, DEQ on the tax collected October through December 2014 was 44,689.41. I say that again, October through December 2014, October. last quarter of 2014 was 44,689.41. I mean, is that up? Is that about the same? I, you know, I don't remember. I don't usually receive this, but I happen to this time and that'd be the, the hazardous waste tax is that, is that what that would represent the money that was collected from the yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I haven't I, I probably reported that there's an effort to the, the legislation was for hazardous waste only and there's an effort to make that everything that goes through the gate and so I don't have an update on that legislation. Uh, was that that state level? Yes, and, and all this from the HUD 
Hudson River is not hazardous. It's not hazardous, yeah. 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 That. Interesting. Yeah. That project's been in what? Two years? Has it been that long? Um, any more questions or additions to that one? Item 6. Item 7 is any new goals and objectives for FY15 and 16. So what I would entertain here, if, if you guys know of some projects or know of anything that's, that's coming on that maybe we want to be involved in or, or, or want to have some interest in, uh, I take those down and pass those back to Sonia. I mean, if you guys have anything or have you seen anything in the communities or know of some things that maybe that we could help or assist with or might need our assistance, and I think that's not all that means. If you if you think of those or hear those things when you're out in the communities, pass those along to Sonia. Um, sometimes we know about them and sometimes we don't. So I mean, I think that's part of the great thing of having us scattered all over the, the county is that. And our uh, um, large facility that Basin rented is vacant now, and we did have uh, an inquiry, and I don't know the rest of the story. Um, is, is that out where the old <laughs> fiberglass plant yes. used to be? Yes. And BNSF has, has uh, recently built a building there. It's not a large building there. Are they using the kind of the staging facility for their construction on that double tracking? Is that what they're doing? You know, I don't know. It may all be communication related. Okay. Sandy, do you know anything about the building on the north side of town on Highway 14? There has been a couple different oil companies. No, I'd like to know more about that. You know, it looks vacant. I don't know if it's available. It's vacant now? Well, it looks vacant. I don't okay. know. Okay, I think sure. Carlson Stewart owns that. Fracking company in there, or yeah, water, this was water like handling. For a while or <coughs> Anything else anybody got for seven that we see? good thing about Sonia, she's basically involved in so many different meetings that lots of times she hears about things before we do. I guess that's the benefit of coming here we find out some things. But anyway, if you think of something, you all have our email address or you can email me and we'll pass that along. Uh, the sand dunes thing, uh, the rides and all, mm -hmm. I've met with a few people and talked with a few people around one oak. Mm -hmm. Had one guy who expressed quite a bit of interest in it. Really? Then after he checked and tried to get insurances and stuff to, with him, he yeah. said it is a seasonal thing. Yeah. It's not year-round enough, mm -hmm. and that uh, he didn't see it feasible and all. Okay. I kind of just left it alone after that because okay. uh, I had the same vehicles and everything like I approached everybody at the last meeting with. Yeah. So right now I don't find it feasible to okay. keep working. No, I think not. It's, it's really, we have to uh, approach the state and persuade the state to do it. So, for all those reasons you pointed out, they. An yeah, and there was, there's a, by they, dealing with the state, there's a lot more liability insurance and a lot more workman's comp, and everything was going to be higher when you involve the state with it. So. But, but they do have employees, mm. and if they own the vehicle, This man was definitely capable of spending the money, yeah. but once he put a pencil to it, he chose he not to. Yeah. So I think it's for us to just tell Sonia you can leave that all up and down. We might, some of one of us might come up with a man. You know, well, so. and, and really, my, uh, my original thing was not an individual. This no part, part of what the park took. But, to but rather to encourage the state because. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't imagine Alabaster Caverns is a money maker. Yeah. 
Middle of Sahara. It's, one of the, yeah. Yeah. it's like the third money earning place in the state, the okay. state park. Okay. But San is number one. Yes, and so I think that the state, uh, you know, it is just so beautiful out there, and it's just something that people should have the privilege of seeing. And so I would love to see them uh, take school kids, you know, there's nothing like it to go see. I, uh, I would really like to put you in one of the dune buggies that they ride out there about 90 miles an hour. No, I don't want that. I just want a scenic tour. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. <laughs> you want I, just, <laughs> I just want a scenic tour. <laughs> You want to see the sand, not uh, the blur? No, the no. <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen it. If you go online, on, um, yeah, there's a lot of videos people right. have posted, and it's they're flying out there. <laughs> yeah. I want none of that. <laughs> I just want a scenic, slow tour. <laughs> <laughs> Item 8 is uh, discuss budgetary needs based on new goals and objectives. And kind of what Sonia and I visited about that is, I like, what we talked about, we offer operate basically on, on a zero type budget at, at this point. So if, if we come up with a with a new project or a new initiative, that, that that's kind of what we need to look at. Is, is we don't we need to figure out who to help us raise the money to help if it if it created additional cost needs. And you know, lots of times, if it's just staff and existing time, it's not a budgetary increase. But think about you know projects. If we come up with something that we want to do that cost additional ten thousand dollars in terms of advertising or whatever it might be that, that those would be expenditures that we'd need to reallocate and rebudget and most likely hunt a resource to to help help pay for that expense. So um, usually we that's just kind of how we always operate it operate on off of the tax and the donation and so it's not like we have a, a pool of money set here for special projects. If we have a special project we need to budget that way and then Sonia would seek funding to, to help offset that. So at this point, I don't see any, anything that we're looking to do that's new and, and at least create a new budgetary need. So as far as item eight, at this point, I think we don't, there's no action really to be needed on eight um, and nine. Are we added a part-time staff person and co-op with Freedom West's time gets away from a year ago? Has it been a year? Closer. Something like something near that time. That's worked out well um, as far as office coverage and uh, assistance and staffing. That, that partnership seems to be working out well, and it's good to have that that presence and, and that person. So um, I know that uh, at this time, I don't. Sonia hasn't expressed any kind of new need for an additional staff, or, and so I think we're we're good for where we're at in terms of staffing for the next fiscal year too. And so. Eight nine, I don't see any, any changes for for next year. Uh, item ten, uh, really don't have any updates for the Industrial Development Authority or uh, NOAA, so no, have no no new news there. Twelve and thirteen is any new business or anybody have any announcements? The Tri County uh, Authority did award Fairview grant. I've forgotten the amount. Thirty thousand. Okay. Fairview is adding on. Uh, oh, was it some kind of some, uh, existing structure for an incoming company, and they made a request uh, to the, what? What? Tell me the group's name again. I can't remember the details. Anyway, they, they were looking for money to, to finish out some office space uh, for that new structure there at the Fairview Industrial Park, and the, the group awarded them a, a grant, I think it was $30,000 to complete that structure uh, last week or two weeks ago now. So it was a, basically it was an electrical company working there with the, yeah. with the local municipal power company, and so it was a company that was going to come in and service lines and different The other announcement that I've got, this Friday, the Alva Chamber is hosting uh, kind of a legislative wrap up here at the Technology Center. So from 8 to 9, both uh, Speaker Hickman and Senator Marlette are supposed to be here and kind of give the, the session wrap up on 
what occurred, and what's happening, and kind of the State of the Union address, I guess. And so it might be a good opportunity if we, if we can catch them on anything that we might have. And so they're, they're supposed to be in the building here. Um, that's Friday. That's this Friday from 8 to 9 okay. um, here. And so um, if you're free, come by. And we're not serving eggs, but we'll serve donuts and some kolaches. How about that? <laughs> That uh, should be a good, good event. Uh, last week, uh, Congressman Lucas's local representative, area representative Jeremy, I can't think, Blanton, Bennett. Bennett was here in the community. Uh, I think he was in Alva and Woods County. I, I know he was out here that morning and went to BJCC and spent some time in the area. And was going out to Guyman the next day, and so he was taken in the area, a young man who grew up in Yukon, and uh, so pleasant young man. And learned more about Woods County and Northwest Oklahoma, so it was, it was good to have him in the area. Other than that, that's kind of the all the things that I know that's come along. Hopefully the next time we meet here that we'll meet in a new room here. We can have the facility, our facility is supposed to be finished here about the 1st of August, so asked me, I said, I'm planning on having classes in there this August, so hopefully. Good. Anyway. Anybody got anything else? The office here will stay the same place? Yes, it will stay the same place. It sure will. It will basically, we're going to take everybody out of closets. We've got stuff in now and actually put them back in classrooms, so that's the, that's the hope. Plus new parking spaces. All right, I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. have any questions for Sonia, I mean, just, I'm lucky because I have her here if I need something, I just holler at her, but if you guys need something or a project or an activity or something, please holler at her. Tell her to get well. We need well, yeah. I know. <laughs>